if you are getting error code 0 x c 6 times 0 5 in call of duty warzone 2.0 then we know how to fix it watch this video till the end to learn how to solve this issue Hey, you're watching Silicophilic, the home of all tech lovers. You mostly get error code 0xc6 times 0, 5 when your PC cannot process files and settings properly while running Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. But don't worry, this error can be fixed easily following the steps shown in this video. Before we get into the methods, subscribe to our channel. For future tech support. Also, like this video if it helps you solve this issue. Don't forget to comment your feedback on the methods or if you are facing any issues while performing them. We also have a Facebook group of troubleshooting experts where you can share your tech issues and get direct help. The link to the group is in the pinned comment. Now, let's jump into the solutions. Method 1. First, run the game as an administrator. If you are running the game via Steam, right click on the Steam desktop icon and select Properties. Go to the Compatibility tab and click on the Run this program as an administrator option. Also, open Steam and click on Library. Right click on Warzone 2.0. Select Properties. Click on Local Files. Click on the Browse button. Scroll down to locate cod.exe. Right click on it and open Properties. Go to the Compatibility tab and check the box for Run this program as an administrator. Click on Apply and OK. Method 2. Next, you can disable the in-game overlay. If you are using NVIDIA graphics card, open GeForce Experience application. Open Settings and turn off the toggle for in-game overlay. Then open Steam. Head on to Library. Find Warzone 2.0 and right-click on it. Open Properties. Uncheck the box to disable Steam Overlay while in-game. Run the game again and if the problem persists, go to the next method. Method 3. The next thing you can do is check the integrity of game files. Open Steam and click on Library. Right click on Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 and open its properties. Click on the Files tab and select Verify Integrity of the Game Files. Wait for Steam. To finish verifying the game files. Method 4. Another thing you can do is set Warzone for high performance in Windows graphics settings. 
type graphic settings in the Windows search box and click on the top option. Click on Change Default Graphic Settings. Turn off the toggle for Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. Now go back and click on the Browse button and find the launcher of the game from its installation folder. Select it. Click on Add. This will add the game as an option in the graphics settings. Click on Call of Duty and click on Options. Select High Performance and save it. Method 5. Another thing you can try is play the game with low in game graphics. Open the game settings from the launcher. And click on Graphics. Go to the Quality tab. Change Quality Presets to Minimum. Click on Apply Settings. Method 6. Next, you can try disabling full screen optimization for Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. Open Steam and head to the Library tab. Right click on Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 and select Manage. Click on the Browse Local Files option, which will open the game installation folder. Look at the cod.exe and right click on it. Open Properties. Go to the Compatibility tab and check the Disable Full Screen Optimization box. Click on Apply and then OK to save the changes. Method 7. Next, update your graphics driver. Right click on the start menu and select device manager. Expand display adapters section and right click on the graphics driver. Select the update driver option. Click on Search Automatically for Drivers. Wait for Windows to check for any drivers and if it finds any, install them. Restart your PC after updating the graphics driver. You can also update the graphics drivers using GeForce Experience for NVIDIA graphics cards and Radeon for AMD graphics cards. Method 8. You can also disable firewall or antivirus program. Type Windows Defender Firewall in the search box and choose the top option. Click on the Turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. Click on the radio buttons for both private and public settings for turn off Windows Defender Firewall. So that's it. If this video has helped you in solving this issue, then give us a like and subscribe to our channel. If the issue isn't resolved from the solutions we have shown here, comment below to let us know and our team will try their best to help you out. Also join our Facebook group for direct tech support. The link to the group is in the pinned comment. Thanks for watching Silicophilic.